All right, it is time for our fourth settlement. I think we're just going to go for uh, for one of these. I guess we could mix it up. We could we could take a look at which ones we want to go with. But I think we are also going to start pushing prestige just a little bit. And we can we can lock in humans, but on this area, Royal Woodlands, we have the average amount of fertile soil. We, we know we like farming. Royal Woodlands are very lush and rich in timber. Trees give more wood. So it seems like beavers would be the... We, we could get a really good wood economy going. So we can we can fish around here, right? Oh, is it always going to be this... Uh, no matter which one we take, it looks like we're always rolling the same people. So it looks like it really doesn't matter. Looks like the areas don't have differences. Okay. Looks like it's always going to be 230. Yeah, all of these seem identical. Is is the identicalness related to this this entire biome is going to be identical? Cuz we could technically we could technically do this one. Do another coral forest. But it looks like that doesn't change anything either. Except that would change the, us to have diverse flora instead. Oh, it's related to the settlement. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go with this one then, and then. I think we're still better off choosing all humans initially, and then we can grab some new villagers. And a bit of extra wood never hurt. It's related to the settlement. Settle one tile up for more resources. Bought this game for my wife forever ago. Glad it's finally releasing so she can play it more. Yeah, RC, it's it's been great so far. Uh, I've been really impressed. Now, we still have two more embarkation points that we can spend. So we can pick up some stone as well. That looks pretty good. We're going to do Prestige 1. We're going to start with all humans, but we're hopefully going to get some non-human settlers in this first group. Wait, I have a two-tile overlap. Wait, so, so are you saying I should, I should go... Wait, so this has a two-tile overlap. This has a one-tile overlap, but it's... It's a different... Oh, I see. So we're getting less bread. We're getting one less bread by doing that. So if we go here and do coral forest again, we get we get more bread, which is one of our meta progression things. Got it. Okay. All right. So we'll grab wood people and stone. We'll stay on prestige ones. Thank you. Thank you for that tip. That makes sense. And then I guess let's uh, let's get going now. One thing I'm going to try here. Let's let's hit the embark button. One thing that I'm going to try here, and you can tell me if, if this is a if this is a terrible mistake. So let's see what we got. So okay, so we have our prestige modifier, which is four additional reputation points. We have our standard looming darkness, but then we have humid climate at two. Uh, fuel consumption in hearths is increased by twenty percent for each hostility level. That's a little scary. We have quaking bog. Ground is moving and swaying from all the rainwater. It's absorbed. Gathering speed is decreased by fifty during the storm. Then we have unyielding corruption. So these three come pretty early in the hostility. Uh, favoring is unavailable while the hearth is being corrupted. I don't think we're still not gonna have blight rot. I don't think maybe we will, but and then alluring lights. Those lured by the lights may not come back. All right. So, so we there's been lots of uh, lots of complaints about grid related problems. So one of the things we can do is we can try and do a better job with our grids in the future. Woo, look at that! Four choices. What are what are our current what do we have for right now all we have is we have some veggies and some some rot. We have more information on prestige and the altar. We got a few that we, it looks like we got a good set that we can chop into up here pretty easily. 
So given that, we, we may wait to see what our first uh, our first is here. But my Oh, and we okay, and we know we locked in lizards. We have a single lizard who I will make the hearth keeper. And then I think I'll I'll lay out some paths. Oh, okay. Well, this was this is a bad place to put those. We'll we'll fix that. Oh man. All right. Now, we'll probably wait for our first orders, but we can we can definitely get ourselves our first woodcutter camp. No idea in Lustrous. It's it's a mystery. Now we have a lot of veggies. What what harvest veggies right now? Is it foragers? Yeah, it looks like so we could build a forager just to get to get a food supply going. This is a decent quantity of veggies. And I'll put it I'll put it here. And then I'll also get one lumber mill. We should also get one crude workstation, I, I believe. Where's, where's my dang woodcutter camp? All right, there we go. All right. And then what I should probably do is... Okay, does that make the priority of all roads minus one? It does not. Uh, so I guess I should make the priority of the buildings higher. Good tip is to have two woodcutters. We don't have... I guess we do have enough people to make it to make it go. I was thinking we could hold off on the second woodcutter. But we'll, we'll get him. We'll get him immediately. Now, why are they building the roads? I set the priority higher for all of these. Wait, do we have no gears? No. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused on why they're building the roads. The roads are priority zero. I guess we have a surplus of people, so some of them started building the roads. Now, I was thinking about playing at 1.5x. That was the other the other question. How how much trouble do we think that would get me into? Only two people can build a building. All right. Except for Mark to avoid glades. I do think I'm going to crack into one initially here. Except for Mark glades. Yeah, I, I figured I could change it around, but it seems like we're starting to get a handle, and I'm pretty I'm pretty good with a with a pause button now and then. So we still have one person to do building stuff, and then for fabric, we don't really have an income of any of these at the moment. But I'll just put I'll put a limit of ten on all of them to start. Oh, we have our first cornerstone. Okay, talk to me, game. Surprise child, gain one lizard for every 25 eggs produced. Right now we're not really producing any eggs. Uh, plus two stone production. Gain some stone every yield from gathering. Or plus two reed production. Gain additional reeds every yield from gathering, farming, or production. Steel picks is okay. I mean, it's, it's the one that I was leaning towards. So we'll we'll grab it, but all of those seem a little bad. Now over here, we could we could go for an early human house. Oh yeah, we haven't built shelter actually. <clears throat> Not that I think we need to do that. Oh hello, forsaken altar, you're new. Uh, do we have a reroll yet? We do have a reroll. Oh, well then yes, I would definitely reroll. 
Now let's see, if I do boom, 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 we'll just slip those in there. We have at least one builder available, so they'll get housing going. I, I think I would reroll. Now these rerolls, I presume, pay a bribe to the envoy to get a new set of blueprints to choose from. Yeah, right now Trapper's Camp does nothing for us. Forsaken Altar is you spend meta resources for powerful cornerstone boosts, I see. Okay. Okay, so right now lizards don't need... Lizards are a non-clothing species. So right now we wouldn't get be getting huge value out of out of a cloth ear. But, but it might be. Uh, we could upgrade our Forager Camp right off the cuff. Might be reasonable since we have vegetables initially. I kind of want to hang out until we crack into the cookhouse is great. Skewers, biscuits. Yeah, I guess it, I guess that is good. But let's see. I wanted to get this queued up here. Let's get this going. And yeah, I guess we'll take cookhouse. Then we... Now, the guild house is the one that we like, not the tavern, if I recall correctly. The provisioner, we know we, we like packs of provisions for trade houses. So I think it's the provisioner. Yeah, I think it's the provisioner. And then, last but certainly not least... I lean towards the lumber mill. We get packs of goods and we get uh, planks. Yeah, I, I like I like the lumber mill idea here. Okay, what did you give me here? Okay, so we can build ourselves a mine and we also can start using a trapper's camp if we want to. Okay, first orders are coming in. Complete any two glade events. Deliver five packs of building materials or seven packs of building materials. I, I mean, reinforced saw blades isn't bad. We picked up the lumber mill, so we can produce a lot of lumber. But I don't know when we're going to get deliver packs. I, I don't know when we're going to get the ability to make packs. Uh, Key Blizzard resolve about 15 for 30. We know mold supply is good. Reinforced needle. So the, the rewards over here look really good. Oh, I can already make it at the makeshift post. Got it. We need packs of everything for this. Lizard resolve might be the easier one here. But the reward is less good. This reward is significantly better. Three packs is the, the far better reward. If we start doing farming, mold supply is quite good. Fabric production is good. Yeah, let's let's stretch ourselves. We'll go for that one. Uh we like we like value of good souls. Uh Oil, we know, is good for helping us with uh, Dangerous Glades. We do need to build our trade post ASAP. I haven't done that yet. Five Glades cut through is an easy one. Yeah, I'm going to go with right. We'll get, some, we'll get some cash out of it. Or that was left, but you know what I mean. All right, so we need we need a trading post. I think we can tuck it in here. But do we not? We do we? We only have one builder, and they have a lot of work to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Well, we'll let we'll let them finish, but I'm going to take one off of each of these. I think, so that we get a little more building done.
And then we can build a makeshift uh, or a provisioner, but... Yes, I will build the park. That That is not a normal part of my workflow quite yet, but someday maybe. Oh boy. All right, so a lot of action here. This is This is not the golden stag. This is the black treasure stag. And farmland. Farmland is certainly interesting. We know we have humans, so we're happy about that. But it's gonna go. Now hold on a second. So is it immediately gonna run away? Because the other stag ran to a dangerous glade. So my my suspicion is is I should chop into these first. And like reallocate all of my all of my workers into cutting into these with the presumption that he's that the stag is going to run to one of these three. So that's that's what I'm going to do. Where'd he go? Do I need to follow? Oh, oh, there he goes. All right. We only have four minutes, so we need to we need to hustle. I'm chopping. Oh yeah, I, I did take one chopper off, didn't I? Get to the chopper. Taking their sweet time, aren't they? This should this should this one should crack it open. Okay. Yeah, I, I use shift to to do that. We're just gonna do those three trees. Wait, I didn't move this one. I'm also excited about this farmland, I will say. We have a lot of coal. Yes, we're excited about farmland. How are we doing on houses? We've got two out of three. Hold on. Unmark these trees. I'm also going to go back down to real time just to make sure I don't make any errors. Now, now in my experience, what's going to happen here is only one guy or two guys can be working on this tree. So everybody else is going to work on other trees, which is super frustrating. Let's see. I want to get I want to get the shelters finished constructing before I start building the farmland. I guess I could at least try to bump this up to priority 2 and this up to priority 2 and then I can threaten to create a Oh, this needs to be I need to do this before the farm too. Unassigned one wood gatherer. Yeah, I, I will as soon as we get in there. Oh, we don't have farm yet. Okay, so farm field, I'm not that worried about. Oh, one, one vegetable gatherer. Okay, so we're in.
Okay, so stag. Catch or release? When the specified time is up, the trader stag will disappear. So, okay, so our options are, in return for letting it go, the black trader stag offers you one random legendary cornerstone. Or, playing with the power of the forest gods has always had consequences. Gain two or three random epic cornerstones, but one random cornerstone in your possession will be destroyed. So the only cornerstone we have is steel pickaxes, which is kind of trash. But legendary sounds better than epic, maybe? I don't have a good a good idea. So you lose steel pickaxe, but so we can't get a legendary from cursed treasure. We get 2 to 3 epics. But my, my inclination is let's get a legendary. It's very early in the run. We can hopefully tailor our build around it. Hey, question. And then let's see. We, we also have this one that we need to deal with. Okay, legendary is better. Okay, so we'll go this way and we will investigate. We receive frequent caravans. The crown is very forgiving. As long as the goods keep flowing, impatience grows 30% slower for 180 seconds every time you finish a trade route. Okay. Now this is our this is our problem thing. So we can we can use stone to do this. We can arrest them. Yeah, that that didn't seem game changing. So so okay, so our options here are Persuade. Villagers have heard rumors of dangerous fugitives. They are worried that desperate criminals might attack. Minus eight global resolve is active only when the cornerstone glade event is being worked. And we would get five people that okay. Yeah. So so arrest looks good. Wait. There's no empathy. There's arrest or persuade. And I was leaning towards I was leaning towards arrest because it just gets us our our money kind of cooking pretty quick. So what the heck is this? Oh, a full-size worm tongue nest. I see. Persuade is the empathy choice. Persuade is the empathy choice. Really? Okay, so then the only question is how long does this take? This takes five minutes, which means it's going to... We're going to bump into the storm. Does that mean our people are going to go crazy because of the minus eight? We want to get this worked as soon as possible. So four minutes, that would mean that we have 35 seconds. So we would still have 35 seconds of storm stacking with this, which probably isn't enough for anyone to go crazy if we start it right now. All right. So we'll do that. And then we can we can lower our, our wood our wood duders for a minute here now. Put this back here. To get that sorted out, and then you can come back here. And just get that sorted out. Don't open more glades right now. Okay. So I, I generally think of the, the little glades as being basically free. Oh, not until solve. That makes sense. Okay. They, they, they add a little bit of hostility. I realize they're not totally free. Now, the trade house needs to get sorted. We have wood. Looks like we're just finishing up the last shelter, and then I'm going to crank that up so that, that gets done. Okay, 
trade house is getting built. Okay, we have no homeless. We're at least good on that front. Oh, good call, good call. Because, yeah, those villagers will arrive during the storm. We get the hearth upgrade. And then these are both set to avoid glades except marked. Avoid glades except marked. So they should just kind of clear things out a bit. Now we have... We have a provisioner, but we don't have, I don't think we have the materials to build it right now, because we'll, we'll want to get that up and running. Oh, did I have a surplus? I missed that. Because we're gonna have we're gonna have fifteen people, and yes, five five will cover it. You are correct. Now these guys are walking, so it feels like I should have put this here because they aren't following the paths. Yeah, we'll get some we'll get some planks going. Okay, and things are about to get very bad. Okay, so let's just we're in the storm. Let's just get rid of our woodcutters. Stop them. And then we can add another person there. Add another person there. And then we could even consider bleeding trees. Plus one resin production. Gain additional resin every yield from gathering, farming, or production. I don't think we're going to use 15 tools. So this looks reasonable. Do we need our stone for something else? I'm trying to remember. No, we were, we were going to use our, potentially use our stone there. So let's get, let's break this open. I'll do that. I'll do that for one. Just one person. We're low on fuel. Are we? We have no wood and 10 coal. It's a little worrisome. We probably want to get a mine going. The mine is always, I always feel like is in a counterintuitive place. Oh, the, the mine requires planks. All right. Yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be problematic then. We're just going to have to ride out the storm low on coal, it appears. You almost done? 20 seconds? All right. I feel like we're, we're so close to done. I'm going to... Oh, okay. It's actually it actually is done. So And if we're going to assign woodcutters, 
we might as well get close to hostility too without kicking ourselves over. And then I need to reassign bricks to be made out of stone. That'll that'll allow us to get get that going. All right, cool. So, new villagers arrive. We still don't know what our third race is. Uh, we can pick up these these bricks so that we get this will get us uh get us going quickly. So I'll take a couple more of them because then we can put the bricks in there, which feels good. Ooh, another another uh, another one. Oh, master blueprint. I feel like that's a really good one. But let's read these all. From the ashes, an old talisman made from the Talons of a Phoenix gained two wildfire essence for every two completed dangerous or forbidden glades, except cloned events spawned by fishmen, caves, or blood flowers. We have far scouted. Scout ahead. Make it easier to prepare for the worst. Discover a small glade. Discovering a small glade increases the working speed of scouts investigating dangerous or forbidden glades or master blueprint collection of architectural drafts from a very early period in the Citadel's history unlocks all camp blueprints and upgrades all small camps that are advanced versions but gathering speed is decreased by 50 percent until you use up at least 300 resource node charges huh so master blueprint has more of a downside than I was expecting. I'm a little surprised by that. What allows you to swing it on this map and it makes it otherwise bad? So, so this is decreased by 50% until you use up at least 300 resource node charges. Does that include cutting trees like do i just have to collect 300 wood basically and i'm good to go or okay then we'll we'll try this but that probably means that we want to get a a trapper's camp going here Let's see, we are, we have two homeless. So I guess I should have built that house I was threatening to. I'd love to get dwarves as my, or beavers as my third, I will say. I'm just about to have that trapper camp online, so I'm gonna do two humans and two of those just to get that started. And we probably need a warehouse up here. How expensive are warehouses? Cue the lumber mill and the provisioner. How big is the lumber mill? Where does it live? There it is. At least get some fuel going. I think that's a, an existential threat for us. And then I think... Is there going to be enough stuff going on up here? Probably, with all the glades that we can potentially crack into. I think putting a, a warehouse up here is a smart play. Okay, old Farouf has arrived. We're broke. Book. I know we like book. I don't know if we can raise the 
the the the value that we need. Yes, I I saw book two. Uh, I don't think we can afford it though. I don't think we can get to twenty two, Amber. Like we could sell our tools, could sell those, sell those, and sell the barrels. It's freaking close, but. I mean, it looks like even if we put in all of this, we don't get there. Whoops, that was meant to be. Not worth? All right. So we could... Is there anything... We could have done this for... If we had done this for gold, we would have had the money for it. But... But we didn't have the tools for it. We could buy more tools and try to try to salvage it, but I don't think I don't think it's gonna happen. Well, we but we but he is selling tools, but I don't know if we could sell tools if we could get tools going fast enough. Yeah, not enough time. Fair enough. What just happened? Oh, new new unlocks here. Three humans, human clan support, plus three to human resolve. Left looks pretty good, but we need to deliver 10 packs of crops and have at least 12 comfort decorations. That warehouse is not needed. Why not? We're gonna have we're gonna have meat production up here. We're gonna I'm gonna move a, a mine up to here. I'm gonna move this uh, this woodcutter up here. Seems and I think eventually we're gonna put a hearth up here. Right. So I, I just said I was planning to put a hearth up here, but. I mean, I don't know. It is far from the farm, but we also don't have farm tech yet. I was just, I was just looking at this and I was like, I think we have, this is a good circle for us to start planning to, to build something around, right? We crack into this, we crack into this, these two, this, and this, and then we have like a nice second hub here, but I don't know. What do I know? I'm just, uh... So is there anything else here? In the absence of book, we should still probably buy 30 oil so we can do another dangerous glade. So one thing we could do here, if we're okay with letting go of some tools, more planks and bricks would be good. We should buy... Six Blightfire? I, I thought we weren't going to worry about that except from events. Starting to think all of our tools are going now. I think that's the only way we get that. Um, I 
Right, we don't currently have the trade button. Sell two reads. I would do this trade. We get we get a little bit of bricks and planks to accelerate our early stuff. We get some oil in case we need it for a dangerous glade. We get the purging fire for the dangerous glade. Okay. Yeah, I like that trade. Even though I don't like that our tools are are evaporating. But we've got we've got our provisioner queued up. We got another shelter queued up. We got a lumber mill queued up. And do we I guess we're a little light on wood choppers, so I'll put another one in. I kind of wish I hadn't queued up the uh, the building of these. More farmland. So there's, I mean, there's a huge opportunity here for farmland if we if we can swing it. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was thinking. I remember you telling me that the oil was worth it for that purpose. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this here and try to make like a clearing here to, to connect these two. But yeah, we, we do have we do have a problem. And that problem is is a lack of a farm blueprint. I Yeah, it's doing okay. Do we need cloth? Excuse me. I feel like we do. So I'll, I'll let them produce cloth too, since I think we're out. And it looks like we need cloth here. And we also need cloth here. So I might even up that on the priority for a second. That doesn't seem like that worked correctly. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on that, but we need fabric for that in Lustrous. We also need fabric for this. And we're one wood short on the trapper's camp. All right. Oh, makeshift post not provisioner. Got it. I'm going to move this over here. Just just get this area clear. Since I don't think we're looking for anything crazy there. Right now we have a lot of builders just kind of twiddling their thumbs. I think we need we need to go full full wood production. We probably should have done that sooner. Yeah, maybe this maybe this doesn't work out. Just just because of the I want the bricks and the gear back. So I'm going to I'm going to abandon this. We haven't done a lot of work on it. Okay. Right, max hostility when we are not in the storm. Makes sense. Uh you guys are idle. It's cuz we don't have any plant fibers. Are we getting plant fibers from these? What? Okay, we got some big reeds over here. What do, what do we grab reeds with? Harvester camp? Let's get one of those built. It's a million freaking miles away. But our coal is starting to go up, which feels good. That means maybe we can... Maybe we have enough headroom to be able to boost through. Trapper camp is still idling as it has no workers. Yeah, we just got it. 
it just finished getting built, so. And I don't know if I need I need my builders to finish things. I guess I can put one one on that. But uh, disabling wood in the in the hearth is something that I always forget. Don't know why I'm increasing the priority on it. Oh, I also needed to disable oil. Did we use any of it? No, we still have 30. That's good. For now, let's just do coal until it becomes an issue. We're quite stalled out on actually getting anywhere. I'd love to get this just to get another blueprint. Oh yeah, we didn't pick any of these. So I like the look of this. Yeah. I think we go for aid for humans. We don't know if we're ever going to get grain. And the human clan support plus humans plus parts I think is good. Cut through the forest to discover three dangerous or forbidden glades, or do six trade routes. We're gonna do we're gonna do value of goods sold here. I don't think we want three dangerous glades. That's perhaps aggressive. Trade routes are gonna take a while because we don't have packs of provisions yet. This thing has taken forever to deal with. Oh, that that thunder crack made me think that we were uh, that it was the time, but it is not quite. We have twenty five seconds. Done and dusted. Let's see, so we need to make packs of provisions. For the moment, that's all we're making here. Guess we make it with eggs. That way we can at least get trade routes started. Okay, there goes, there goes that. We'll stick it one hostility. Now let's make sure we have our people doing stuff still afford two woodcutters yeah I was gonna re-add them once I got everyone else sorted out We got five. We got five headroom. Things aren't trending too badly. What's this waiting on? We can use vegetables for that. Wait, didn't I have someplace else? Oh, packs of provisions are making down here. So don't make packs of provisions here. Okay, we'll do that. We have the lumber mill, uh, so we only want to use planks there. I don't really have another place to put them. I guess they can they can be doing work stuff though. Now this needs people. There we go. Still sitting at one hostility. We have two in our vegetable thingy, right? Lumber mill isn't going. Hold on, that's a mistake. So we should not be producing planks here. 
we should be producing planks here. For now, scrolls and packs of trade goods. We can use up our barrels, I guess. There we go. Yeah, lumber mill is empty. I, I caught that at the same moment you did. Low on food. My kingdom for a farm. Are we out of gears? No, we still have a few parts. Ah, new cornerstones and new people available. Thank you. So, Obsidian Runestone. Complicated runic structure designed to shield the hearth from corruption. The ancient hearth's resistance to corruption increased by 400. Don't think we need that. Three grain per minute. I think that might be really good. Yeah. Tanning rack, we're not as interested in. We'll take grain delivery line, and then are we going to find out what our third people are? Hey, it's beavers! Hooray! I was just asking about that. Let's grab them. All right, so during the... Right now, we want to aim towards getting as much done as we can. We're low on food. I don't know. Like, this, this is so remote, but... I'm not sure we can do better. Right now we have no one producing fabric. What's our fabric supply? 18, we're good. All right. You really need to get the building materials pack done ASAP. Yeah, I mean, we're working on it, right? Where, where do the building materials ones get made? Here? Yeah, I mean, we are making them. We are actively making them at the moment. But at 10 planks, it's pretty brutal. I mean, I guess we can, we can green light fabric and bricks, but that's going to hurt us in the building department. Actually, maybe we don't. I think we just stick with planks because we have the lumber mill. Let's just make sure that we're... We can use bricks. Oh, the stone production. But we're not currently harv... Are we getting stone from this? I guess we're getting stone from the mine. You guys are idle. We've used up everything. Well, right now we have a surplus of people. So. So I don't know if I want to take people out of the mine because I don't know where I reallocate them to. Maybe that one person that I just, the second person that I put in here, I can put in the other, the other one of these. When is this person going to be done? How long does this thing take? It's taking them a year to carry everything out of there. All right, I'll take one out and increase makeshift post. <laughs> Deep breaths. I'm trying my best. 1.5x is uh, is taxing our uh, our communication bandwidth, I reckon. Okay, this is done over there. Let's get this done, and I'm just going to continue clearing that up. If we get farms, things are going to be look real good. All right, we have our packs of provisions. We have 15 of them, specifically. Packs of crops and packs of building materials. Okay. 
Wait, why do we have so many packs of provisions? I set the limit to nine. A little confused about that. Can start making flour with the grain delivery line. That's right. We don't have a... Did we take something for making flour? I don't remember where we can... The provisioner can make flour. Got it. All right, so that, that will just happen naturally. Food is still a problem. Talk to me about food. Oh, trade routes available. Didn't even notice those. Uh, let's see. So we got we got packs of trade goods. We we need those for. Do we need those for a quest? No, we don't. But we need to complete six trade routes. So my my inclination packs of building materials we do need. So and then we also have packs of uh, trade goods. I think we can let trade goods go. So I'm going to do each of these trade goods ones for one. Well, we need to do six of them. So my thinking is, is we do this for one. How many of these do we have? We have six. So we could do three and three, I guess. Wait, do we have more than three? We can do three and three. Let's do that. We'll get 18 out of that. Okay, get those started. Get some cash. We're slowly getting our packs. Not feeling too bad. These were... Okay, that's six trade routes. Value of goods sold is going up. We're about to we're about to deliver a lot of these. So I think we'll I think we'll stabilize. Farms would be insanely clutch. We're gonna get a lot of early blueprints, so I'm not too worried about that, but this. This medium cache has taken just a, an absolutely terrifying amount of time. 12 trade routes seems like the path we're going. Well, I'm not going to putting, I mean, putting roads between the farm patches seems like a, a risky play. We also have two homeless, I'm noticing. But yeah, so 12 trade routes is an easy take. Plus one to production yields for all packs of goods. Ooh, export specialization is insane. If we get that early, that would be great. Uh, and then income tax, complete 10 trade routes. We're probably going to do that as well. Yeah, forget ancient tablets. More trade routes. All right. All we have to do is do a lot of trade routes, and we're going to be just fine. But it seems like a premature optimization to start putting roads between the farms before we have a way to do farmly stuff. This trapper camp. Oh, hold on a second. Can I move you so you only do... I can't... If I do this, we lose a little bit. I can't I can't get one without the other. I, I could do this. If I move this here, we lose a bit of efficiency here, but they don't harvest these ones anymore. Let's see what Zorg's got going on. Oh, you can prioritize nodes. They think of everything. Hold on. So you're saying I can do this, and then 